Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to, I already baked, so everything is baked now, everything is hard, and I'm going to uh, to give details to the food. I'm going to finish this one because I didn't finish, and this one I just put the clay here to finish the food after, so you guys will see the difference. So for this one, uh, it was quite a challenge to get to this point of the foot because it kept on moving not quite of a challenge but you know kind of a pain so for the foot shape the only thing I do here is making sure there's an arch in the center or, uh, in the inside part of the foot there's an arch and then make sure that this toe it's bigger than those ones and cut these ones off kind of like a triangle triangle shape here and in this part there is not an arch which mine has so I'm going to remove and also make sure that the shape of the foot right here this part is like a triangle like this so this, uh, the center part is thinner than these ones. Don't make it flat because it looks weird. And then see how now that the clay is already attached to the wire, it's so much easier to work on it. And also the last video, uh, I didn't get a good view of the toes, marking the toes. I'm going to make sure that today that I'll give you guys a better view of it. So, and that's it pretty much. That's all that we need for the foot. I think I like it already. So this, the bottom part of the, the, the heels must be larger than the top here. So it's like a triangle. Okay, we could make this arch more. Let me do it. Put more clay here and make it look like she's, she has her foot more on the tippy toes than it is right now. It's not realistic, guys. I'm really playing around with the shapes now. And always triangular, so this skinnier than the bottom there. I like it better. Look at the profile, how it's, I don't know, more exaggerated. Obviously, more a caricature. And get a good feel. Also, the, to the tallest part of our foot, it's uh, in front of the big toe. And once we reach the, the little ones here, the little guys here, it start getting less tall. So you can lose some height here. Like that. But again, you don't need to go that realistic. Anything that you look and you think is like, oh, that's a cute foot or, oh, that's a funny foot. Then that, that's enough. And that's it. We got it pretty good here. Now we just need to smooth it out, but we can do it with the brush and oil. Um, here, I'm going to make sure that I won't mess up my curve on the bottom. Okay, so this is what we got. Exaggerated curve, exaggerated curve in here as well, and I like that. Okay, so now let's go for the second one, and you will see that it's going to be a little bit easier than the first one because we already have the clay in there. So I'm going to start by placing the, a little bit of clay here to make the 
so I have to put my hand in front while I'm showing I'm try to do like this so you guys see what I'm doing so just oops doesn't want to stay so just place in there squeeze it and blend it in with the clay that is already there so this the good thing about it is that it's not going to be moving around because it's already baked and hard so it's going to be right there where you put it and blend it in here too just turn try to blend it uh in every position there and then we have to uh, try to find the same thick of these two guys here so this one is not, it's a little bit wider than that one, so I'm just putting the two, two foot in the same, same size. Okay, kind of, I'm, I'm still going to do something. Now we have to do the, in, the internal arch, so inside the foot here, in this part, the inside part of the foot, we need to have an arch. So I mean, there's a, already the beginning of the arch here with this foot here. Can you see? Now we have to bring that out. Can't be so skinny in there. So I'm going to place some clay on the heels. We can do it through the back and also give the triangle triangular shape for the heels. So you can make a little triangle and place in there and then you just play around with this triangle and fix it because it's not going to be exactly the size you want obviously. It's way bigger than this one and we need to find that shape but for now it will work. So just blend it in if you want to go smaller and try to already put the triangle uh, almost the right shape you can. I like just making it bigger and use the clay to help help me to blend in. Just there. I'm not gonna be worried about the this part now. I'm just gonna be worried about the inside one for now to begin with. And I'm going to blend that in here for an arch shape. This side also I'm just going to blend it in. So it looks like this foot now I'm going to try to find the right size so just making the heel a little bit smaller because it's way too big you could use this tool or you can use the arch ones whatever you feel more comfortable with I'm just reducing the size of the heels and that's also going to reduce the size of the foot and also here it's bigger so if I squeeze the, the toes to see where it's going to start then you can see that it's way bigger and we will have to reduce this triangle I'm gonna leave it like that for now and put the, the other part of the foot so I can have a better view so same thing that I did in the the other one, <clears throat> it's missing foot here, we don't have an arch in the outside part. And you can see this foot is turning out way bigger than the other one and we're going to have to reduce that all here. 
So getting rid of the arch. And the good thing is that now the clay really goes exactly what I want. So I'm going to do this arch following already the size of the foot right there. So you can see we can make it the foot way smaller than it is right now just by fixing the arch. So this arch was going way too much here. I reduced to here. Now you can cut with a knife or <clears throat> whatever you think it's best. Just cut in here. And now let's put the this arch higher as well, just like the other one. And then if you don't like this style of foot that I made, you can Google uh, caricature foot or even caricature styles and you'll see other options. There's plenty of there and you can also just create one. Kind of like that already. This I just cut it here because it was kind of flat. This was the same thickness as the bottom there, so it makes the foot look weird. Always remember to uh, make this triangle shape. It it looks way better when you get it right. It's pretty similar. Maybe this one is still a little bit bigger. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it's still a little bit bigger. Let me. Cut it off there. There's some the hard clay was on the way to make it smaller. I'll just cut it and it's still okay. That's better. Yeah, same size. Okay. So for the toes, and I'm gonna make sure that you guys will see what I'm doing this time. You can get a, any kind of tool like this or even a knife, doesn't matter. And you're going to mark them. So big one here. And then I always mark in here. And then from here to here. Bring it in. Like this. That give a kind of a rounded shape here. And then you mark four. So you can either mark like half of it and then the two other ones or you could just go and copy the same thickness that you gave to this one because that's the second one and then if you need to cut the at the end to find the right thickness you can cut it <clears throat> so here and here And then this one is squeezed in, and you can see we can get rid of all this part here. It's not necessary to have it. And then it's kind of the same shape now. Just squeeze this one in and make it smaller. There. Okay guys, so now we can smoothen it out with a brush, oily brush, just some mineral oil and smoothen it out. All right, so now that we have the foot, we can start dressing her. Okay, so now we're gonna dress her. So I opened my clay on my pasta machine and I even made it a little bit thinner because my pasta machine doesn't make it too thin. So that's what I've got here. It looks like her dress is just that and this is just a bra that she's wearing underneath the, 
the dress and that's what I'm go for it I'm going for I'm just gonna do the dress and I'm gonna do that after because I still don't have shoulders and I don't want to put anything in here before I put the shoulders and she has a tattoo right there so also I want to do just the dress and then I'll put this, this tattoo put the shoulders I mean put the shoulders and arms put the tattoos and then that's the last thing I'm gonna put is this on the dress okay or underneath whatever it is Okay, so I'm going to get my clay and go around her and see if this is the size is a good size for it and I like it and I'm just going to place in here and with my knife actually I'm gonna put her arms all the way up so she doesn't stay in my way And I'm going to put in here again. I don't know how the dress is on the back, so I can just make it up. And here I'm going to cut. I can just mark first. And cut after. If you guys think it's too hard to do like that, you can do just the front and blend the clay in and then do the back. You don't need to go all the way with the dress. So I just made like a little mark in there. And now I'm gonna cut it. So I'm just put my clay in here so you guys can see. And I'm going to cut exactly where I marked. And you can keep on going with the mark all the way to the back there. Same thing here. Just cut it. And go all the way there. Like this. And now that I cut, I always like to come here and fix the, the cutting to look better finishing, okay? So it doesn't matter, like, you can p make it really sexy and show a lot of boobs if you want, or you can make it less sexy, show less boobs. It's really according to what you like. And I'm going to put mine... See, hers is pretty sexy. It shows a lot of her cleavage. Cleavage? Is that the word that my gente taught me? So I'm gonna kind of do the same here. Like this. And then I'm going to press to make sure that this is gonna stick around. And press in here as well. Then once it reach here, I'm gonna go all the way to the back and see where I want this dress to reach on the back. So I think I'm gonna reach kind of like here and make sure to stick around and cut. I'm gonna cut kind of in the center there. Doesn't matter here, just removing this clay. Right there. This can be there, it's not gonna bug me. I just want to uh, meet up very nicely here. And then once you meet up, just cut it. the excessive clay here and there it is now is we have to go and shape her body so you can go there's different ways to do it 
I think the easier one is just to uh, press the dress with itself like that and then you cut the excess of clay and connect it together so like here I'm squeezing these two parts together and then once I squeeze them I just cut kind of like when you, we sew the this part of the dress and you cut like that and there we go it's already all there and then you just roll in and here's the same thing cut the clay cut it and it's right there rolling I meant like with the tool like that you just blend all the clay together and it looks pretty tight the dress like there and here all right and keep on going and now we have to find I want very very tight so everywhere that is big like here and here I here I is not because I didn't connect in there in the back so I'm just gonna connect in the back and everywhere that I want to go nice and straight I'll just pull it and put the clay together and cut it just like I did with the with the front okay I'm gonna do the front first so here and I'm going to give it size of it I'm gonna cut um, let's see here Keep on going. Just gonna remove there and then I'll do the back once I have it place. So it's gonna look shorter than hers or you can try to show as, as much as you want here. But mine is going to look shorter because she has really long legs. And I'm okay with that. So I'm going to bring it all the way there to the back. And connect them together here. So I'm just going to connect it all. These two parts and cut this excess of clay here. Oops, I think I cut it too much. Yep, I cut it too much. No, I didn't. Just here, maybe. And now, here I can cut a bit more. Well, I'm not going to try to give movement to the dress because it's a caricature and I want it to look like a tight dress so. um so it looks like what is she has in the dress here it's like fabric folds that's what my student is teaching me okay so here I just smooth and just like it's sculpting normal to finish that and here the good thing about it is that it's right on her leg so it's easy to put in together and you can even reshape the butt if you want with the just the black clay if you think you want bigger you can uh, make it bigger just with a black clay like use the dress to make it bigger and here I didn't want it to go so inside her butt like it's going in here see let's see if I can see I'm just gonna do this to cut that part you can also use a scissor if you think it's easier and here I didn't want the dress to go in her butt like that so I'm just gonna put some clay in there and fill up. So I'm just gonna fill up in there and then the dress doesn't look like it's going inside her butt anymore. Okay. 
and there all this we can smoothen with the brush after but she has the fabric folding here so it's okay to have those marks because we are actually going to mark all over the dress right now so this is the next step so now let's mark all the dress and make this fabric folding that she has on the dress so look into the picture there it looks like it goes from here to here as a mark and then comes down and kind of follows the shape of the dress not going to be concerned about the center because there is buttons you don't need to use this kind of tool if you want to use something like this or a little knife whatever you have there it doesn't really need to be perfect either because it's a caricature so it doesn't need to look like it's folding just some movement here and then just mark mark I, I like mostly my tool better I'm just going to work with this one. And here I want to give it a, a fo real folding, like uh, as the fabric is actually folding in there. That's pretty much it. I don't think we need more than that. And then same thing in the back. Let's keep on doing the folding. And that's enough for the basic shape of the dress. It's pretty basic, this dress. Now we just need to put the details. So now that we have the dress, we can put the arm. For the hand, I think I'm going to bake the dress first. I'm not sure. Depend on the time on the class. I would have. If I was working without classes, I would bake before I put the hand in here. Um, and right now I have to decide the size of the arm. So... I want this hand. So I'm gonna get my to reach kind of the middle of the dress here and put her arm kind of in the pose that I want, and then I'm gonna fold my wire where the hand is gonna go to reach the the half of the the dress there on the leg. And then for the size of the wire that is left over in the hand, it will depend on the size of the hand that you want to put for your doll. So if you want big hands, you can leave a big piece of wire here. If you want smaller hand, I'm going to do smaller. You cut it a little bit. The wire must reach around here, and then the rest is fingers. So here is going to be just fingers, and, and I think that's good. Okay? So once you have it cut it, you're going to make the arm straight and you're going to measure it. So cut the other one just the same and bend the other hand just the same with before folding, before bending the elbow. So once you bend, it's all measured already. Make sure this is straight before I measure and bend it. So this is her wrist here. And now I can cut. Okay, once I do that, I have to decide where the elbow will go and have the two elbows same uh, distance. This arm looks bigger, but it's, as you guys saw, is measured. And that's because this one is coming up here and this one is down here. 
so it's it's okay as soon as the measurements are the same then you're good and that's the same okay so it's not bigger and for the elbow I'm gonna go halfway here kind of find the halfway and that's gonna be where my elbow will go so just I, I don't really need to bend this one it's kind of a straight arm but just for me to know and here also halfway because this one is bending so put the arm in the right pose in there kind of like this the hand is going down there kind of like this not this cannot be it needs to be straight Kind of this, not so much, more like this, yeah. And this one is pretty straight down, something like that. And I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna start making her hand. I'm gonna have my reference here just to have a little bit of notion of the size of the hand that I'm doing. It doesn't need to be exactly. You can make it way bigger or way smaller or simpler. You don't really need to go crazy with with the hand size. So I'm gonna get a little bit of more clay than I can see that I'm gonna need and I'm gonna start making a little oval. Kind of like an oval, not really. No. Kind of like this. So I'm gonna squeeze one part to make uh, to separate arm and hand and then also this is going to be something I can hold on it and if you want to make it even easier to hold and to place the hand on your wire after you can actually put a stick in here and have it holding your hand so it's going to make it easier for you so mark very well the beginning of the hand. There. And once you have this, we're going to start squeezing it. So squeeze it. Squeeze until you have that as thick as the hand that you want on the profile. So as thick as you want this part to be. Once you have that, the thick thickness that you are looking for your hand, then you're going to decide on the size of your hand. So mm, mine, I think it's uh, still a little bit too large in here. So I'm just going to cut it. And yes, I'm going to use my scissor to cut. I'm going to cut it a lot for this hand. And here I'm just going to cut again to mark where the hands start. I don't want to be fighting the clay here, like pushing to one side and then it runs to the other. So I'm just going to cut it. Here, all around the hand, it needs to be marked where is the beginning and that and uh, it can be even thicker thinner than that I'm gonna try to make this size I kind of like this size of hand this one not exactly but quite kind of so there you go this and once I have that same thickness just uh, here so kind of like this it doesn't need to be exact just kind of and could be even th thinner so I'll just cut a little bit more it's 
good to have a very thin scissor to do that. There you go. And okay, once you cut, you might want to take a look again on the thickness of your hand because if you cut too much, it might look too thick. So you just squeeze it more. And then once you have it done here, we're going to decide on the size of that part of the hand, the inside. So you can measure if you want, or you can just make it up kind of here. It doesn't need to be exactly, and we're going to give it a cut like this, not all the way, just a little bit. And once you cut, you're going to squeeze the fingers even thinner there. That's just one way to do it. If you have another way that you already like doing it, go ahead. There's a thousand of different ways to make a hand. There you go, here. Okay. Once we have this, I'm going to put this down. But my toothpick is right there, so I'm going to bring my toothpick a little bit inside here so it doesn't stay on my way. There. I'm going to fold like this and I'm going to make sure to also give a nice shape here, rounded and in for my hand. And also if we want to make it thinner here, just I think now you have a better view of what you're doing, so you can choose better. And don't let it so square either. There you go. Just like this. It doesn't matter here, we're going to cut that off, so don't worry about the shape of the arm, because this arm is not going to be part of the sculpture. It's just for us to hold right now, to make it easier to hold the hand. And if it's uh, getting out of the of the, the stick, you, you just, just make whatever you need to get in there. Okay? So once I have this, and it's the thicken that I want, I want very skinny fingers, so... There's a, my toothpick, it's still there, it's okay, I'll just get it out after. So once I have this, I'm going to cut the size of the fingers that I want, so kind of here, right there. You see, I measure with my scissors, so it doesn't need to be perfect there. And then you're going to decide what hand you were doing. So let's say I'm doing this one. So I'm going to leave this one bigger and do this. Cut this one smaller. And for the other hand, I'll do the opposite. Okay. Once you cut it, you might check on the thickness. Because again, once you make it shorter, it might look still too thick. Mind it. So, there we go. I'm going to thicken to make it even thinner. There. And now I'm just going to cut it. So, I'm going to open in two here, and then in two again, and then in two again. There. And now that I cut it, I'm going to open them, and I'm going to cut them as skinny as I want, cutting from the inside, so here, and I remove the center clay, and then a little bit for the end of it, make it thinner fingers. you go as thin as you want. There's no rules for caricature hand.
I'm going to pull it a little bit out of my stick. Just to, because it's showing right there. Okay. So once I get that, I'm going to cut this one a little bit sm smaller than the center one. And also make it thinner. That's pretty much it for the hand. Now you just put your tool, tool in between the fingers and make sure there's a space between them because our hand does have a space between them. Also get rid of the cutting marks with your tool or with your fingers, whatever it's easier for you. This is not how I do my realistic hands. For my realistic hands I go finger by finger. I like it better. And here I'm not very concerned that all the fingers are going to have different sizes because it's just a caricature, so I don't really care to have them so different and so right. So that's pretty much what I want for the hand. Okay, so now I get a little little ball and I'm gonna start rolling the tip of it like this. And we have her finger right here so you can measure. It's good that it's in this pose because we're doing that part right there, right? So once you have the size, you just make it thinner with your tool because your finger is not going to be able to do it. And then you make it thin, uh, thinner in the center here and give it this shape with like a wave here. So this is the inside of the, the finger. So right there, this is kind of the size that the shape that we're looking. And yes, we do want a little ball in here. It's that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then this ball that is in the back here, you can make it a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be so fat, so kind of like flatten like that. And then we're going to cut in this direction here. This. That's the shape I do my thumb. So there it is. This shape. And that makes it pretty easy to go here and put in my hand. So, see how hers is going to the side there, and then you just place in here. And you're gonna have like a very cute hand already ready to go because of this shape. So, it makes it easy. There. And then. You blend in, when you go blend in, you get this here and go straight up. And then you have a nice little hand here. There. And here you just get in like that. And when you blend this one in, beside blending in, just let me blend and I'll show you. You go like this. Then you have a nice little hand in there. 
still have the blending better here. You can also go with the brush after. Okay, so I didn't pose it. My fingers are all separated to make it easier for me to pose it. And that's pretty much it. So before putting the hand in there and posing, I'm going to do the other hand so it's easier to get the same size of hands having this one right here with me. So I'm going to make the two of them. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to do the second hand. So same thing here. Make an oval and shape it. I made it a little bit bigger, but it's okay. It's just going to have more clay for my arm here. And put it in. Avoid going so much to the end like I did the other time. And go here. Now that we have that one, we can just measure here. It makes it easier. And mark the beginning of the hand here. So the arm here doesn't matter. We're not going to use it. Uh, be careful to make sure that you're going to do the opposite hand. same thing and I always like to finish the the little tip here this tip of the the thumb and the other fingers I always like to go uh, with a curve up, the tip goes up like this. It makes it more charming, the hand. So see how it goes up a bit. Squeeze the ball. Let me just measure it. Pretty good. And now we're going to cut in there, this direction. And there we go. Here, and this hand is this one. This thumb is going to be opposite. So it's going to be right there. But now, we don't know how this thumb is. It looks to me like it's opening, like there. like. Here. It looks like it's open. I'm just going to leave it open and then we see once we're going to pose it. Uh, where is it going to be? So that one I posed more down here. See? There and this one I'm just going to go straight flat to the top to leave it open. So one is like this, so I placed the thumb already there, and this one I placed like this, so just this different, this difference. Just blend it in. And I'm saying same thing here, when you blend it in, you just make a curve here, and this is going to help you to have more clay to blend this in. So one hand is more open, the 
other one is more close like that. And that's it for today's class. So I'm going to bake the dress uh, 275 Fahrenheit, 130 Celsius degrees. And foot, bake it all for uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes. See you guys. Bye-bye.